Hello everyone, I'm Pang Hao Yu from Jilin University. Here I'm going to present our recent work overseeing the network modulation and the task adaptation approach for user code start recommendation. In this talk, I'm going to start with the motivations and the challenges of our research. Then I'll introduce our methods for this. Next, I'll show some experiment results before the final conclusion. First is the motivation. Believe it, the information although the problem cause at the exclusive source of data and provide convenience for users. Recommend the system predict items that may be of interest to the users by discovering their personalized preference. To achieve better performance, additional recommended models always require a large amount of user interaction data for training. However, the interactions of new users are often inseparant and fair which leads to the user per start problem. Since the advent of recommender systems, the user per start has been one of the most important factors influencing its effectiveness. Traditional solutions to this problem include adding the static information of users or atoms to the model, introducing additional knowledge that are cross domain recommender systems and the interview based approaches that are multi armed present algorithm. Inspired by fields of learning, many permission or has the attempt to solve this problem from the perspective of meta learning, owing to its extent framework and flexibility with the text model selection. Model agnostic meta learning is one of the most popular meta learning based frameworks for the user cluster problem. Memo based recommender systems can learn a common utilization for all users and attempt to new users rapidly through gradient updates. Most of these methods follow two main settings. First, they regret making recommendations for one user at a task, and second, they learn a meta model from these tasks and adapt it to new tasks. However, these methods suffer from two serious drawbacks. First, most of them change the model task by task, which makes the input user feature factors take randomly and fit the risk of overfitting. This figure does not fit this problem. The blue arrows indicate the order in which data flow into the model for training. Notably, in image classification, data flow into the model with a random label order. However, in recommender systems, because the interaction data are divided into different tasks according to different users. The information and the interaction of only one user are available in one task. From the perspective of the training process, the data stream received by the recommendation model is grouped according to the given users, which greatly weakens the representation and the generalization ability of the model. Second, the executive method really generates a common meta model for all users. However, different from other domains, according to the research of collective wisdom in social psychology, personalized human preference presents otherwise implicit grouping distribution. For users with substantially different performance distributions, it's unwise to generate a common initial meta model that is close to all of them. This method not only makes the learning process as smooth, and increase the difficulty of convenience, but also reduce the quality of the knowledge learned by the resulting model, which makes it uh, difficult to adapt to obtain the model to new tasks. To this end, we design a between the network modulation and the task adaptation approach for the power two problem. This figure shows the difference between the price method and our model. First of all, we utilize the opportunity of strategy to obtain a better representation learning and transfer it to meta training stage. And then we active the implicit group distribution or user preference through network modulation for more accurate task adaptation. This is the overall framework of our method. I will introduce this model from two aspects so network architecture and optimization process. The network architecture is divided into a recommender consisting of an encoder and a predictor and two corresponding modulators. The encoder receives the feature vector 
orders and items are input, and the power officers in Huyin Valley Works respectively. So they are corresponding value metrics. The value vectors of each feature are combined as the representation of users and the atoms. At the same time, the encoder also fails to me to obtain the task representation via the pooling or attention layers. After that, the predictor receives the representation of user atom interaction pairs as input, and the predictor user's rating of the atoms through the forward propagation of the model layer perception. To achieve the transfer of constrained knowledge into meta training, it is then an input modulator. It modulates the constrained network requirements in units of single features so that it can adapt to the meta training environment while avoiding the influence of under random data. Specifically, it sets the VAT and BELT as a group of modulation parameters for each dimension of the feature matrix and update them with statistical gradient the designs during the meta training. Besides, we also design other encoder modulation functions to further demonstrate the effectiveness of our methods, such as the element with analyze and scale supervise. It will compare the performance of this method in operation experiment. And for the predictor, we also introduce a predictor modulator to active the impression of preference distribution of each user. It receives task representation as input and output modulation vectors for each layer of the predictor with the multiple multi layer perception. Here we also have the method called feature wise linear modulation besides we also design an uh, attention based method for comparative analysis. The optimization process of the model consists of two parts for training and uh, meta training. During per training, the training data is randomly sampled in units of interaction pairs. The model is optimized by computing the mean squared error. In the end, we only keep the parameters of the encoder and transfer it to the following meta training state. During the meta training, the meta adaptation and the meta update take turns. The data is sampled by user and divided into support set and parity. The rest and the barriers in the encoder modulator are initialized to one and zero, respectively. We further compute the loss on the support set and update the parameters of the predictor. And then we compute the loss on the file set and update the predictor. And two months later, it was mentioned that the update of the predictor here is based on the initial meta model. The loss is calculated based on the model after adaptation, but the gradient is calculated based on the meta model parameters and used to update the meta model. Next is the experiment. In this section, we consider the following style research question. First, how well does our method perform compared to its population models and the SOTA method? And second, how do different modulators affect the performance of our method? And uh, the third, does proper training make our method remain stable in with few groups that users? How does the number of interactions in the support set affect our method? And fourth, how is our method impacted by its hyperparameters? And last, in addition to the improvement in recommendation performance, does our method actually learn better user representation? Can this be seen really? We evaluate our method on two public benchmarks instead, way less than me and for coffee. We applied the following metric to evaluate the compared recommendation model. The mean average error, lower mean squared error, and normalize the discount cumulative gain for each metric consistent with the provided work. We calculate the average result for all users from the query set in the text set. And we compare our approach with the following meta learning based data method. In the performance comparison, our method outperforms other sort of methods with sufficient improvements on both data sets in terms of four metrics. According to the modulator knowledge, 
we can see that our method achieved the best result. And this is the impact of the shadow of the support set on the model. With a larger support set, our models achieve better performance. Or our, our method is better than other models. And we consider the sensitivity of the model to two million hyperparameters. The embedding set of each feature and the number of meta adaptation steps. We observe that our method performs better than the population models in most cases and is not very sensitive to this parameter. The study is the improvement in terms of user reputation. We visualize the user vectors generated by different models. These vectors are focused into two dimensions through dimension reduction, and the user ages are highlighted by different colors and styles. First, according to A and B, we observe that the user representation vectors generated by MELU have a low degree of discrimination and a high degree of overlap in the embedding space, and the users are not different by age. After model change, the situation is not changed. Second, B and C are method of an excellent user representation capability through training. In the meta training stage, it can maintain this ability without overfitting the meta training data or encountering the memory forgetting problem. This indicates that our method requires better user representation than the of existing method through training. And the encoder modulator makes it perform well on meta learning tasks while maintaining this advantage. Finally, is the conclusion. We propose a novel meta learning based approach for user cross class recommendation. It obtains excellent repetition learning capability from training and then incorporated the trained knowledge into meta training through encoder modulation. A particular modulator activates the implicit grouping distribution characteristics of users according to their identities for more accurate and rapid adaptation. Extensive requirements on two benchmark data sets so that our method consistently outperforms the SOTA method. We are grateful for the support of the following facts. Thank you.